Whoa, oh, they done tore that up. What is up, guys? It's your favorite alley cat, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Riding on his favorite motorcycle, the Zero DSR. And I am just taking a little lunch break and stuff. And just riding around and enjoying life a bit. And, huh. Little cat cafe. You guys don't know I love cats. I'm a cat guy. I would have to be, right? Twink's body art. I just witnessed someone losing control of one of these bird scooters and I can understand they're actually not easy to ride just being real with you okay no one's turning thug life <laughs> uh, people gotta pay attention more man I'm sorry guys my wits are too fast so I do things like that it's so easy to kind of get carried away with doing stuff like that on a zero because the acceleration is just like like it's just throttle all the way to 110 miles per hour <laughs> or at least with a DSR with the SRF and SRS it's like um, it, it's it's a little slower with the acceleration but still you're you just twist the throttle and go all the way up which is a uh, kind of a nice thing it's kind of what I like it's kind of what I like about riding the the zero is that like like especially in places where there's so many stop go stop go stop go you're not too worried about shifting up or shifting down or the engine having to catch up or you know rev matching and all that you just pretty much just go and that's what it, it is what it is I found another alley I'm about to do a maneuver. Gotta go down that alley. I never seen this alley before, so I'm gonna go ahead and check the alley out. Let's see, this thing probably goes all the way up to La Brea. It's kinda rough in here. Glass everywhere. Don't wanna kill anybody coming out the alley. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, every time I pass an alley where it's like blind spot alley, I get I I get scared for my life because people in their cars don't pay attention. And a lot of people don't think. The thing about it is that do being able to do this type of stuff and go this fast is a freaking privilege. And a lot of people don't think of it like that. They just kinda it's kind of more of a necessity. Which it, it kind of is out here, especially in Los Angeles or anywhere where there's a lot of um, long stretches of um, roads and stuff where it's kind of hard to like get around without a car. I'm going to go across this basic wall, which is the double solid yellow. Don't do that at home, kids. I'm, I'm a trained professional at that. I don't know why. You never know what you're going to come across in an alley. You might come across some hookers. You might come across <laughs> um, a loose dog. You might come across a bunch of nails. If it was the early 90s. You might have came across a bunch of cholos hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I got a river crossing right here. This is why my rims stay so dirty. I'm always crossing over water. And I ain't trying to cross over water. So I recently changed my my rear tire to a more slick tire. I gotta do my front tire now. Um Oh, come on. Why you have to go where I want to go? You guys are good. I want to make sure no one of the cars come through. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's 
just riding my little low-powered e-bike down the street. You know, it's funny. When I first started uh, riding motorcycles, I actually doubted how fast electric uh, motorcycles could be. Like, I literally was like, oh, electric bikes, they're slow. <laughs> and then I kind of doubted the range, too. I feel like this range, the range on this bike is uh, like the range I had on my my GT250R. And hey, my DRZ really didn't have range with like 50 miles. My XR 650L, the best mileage I would get was 57 miles with the size tank I had on that. Um, yeah, this is like, I mean, one of the bikes that had really good range that I've had. And it's electric, which is a trip. <laughs> and then on top of that, when I go up, somewhere and come back down i'm not too worried about the range like if i'm going from a downhill going up then i kind of worry because it does strain it so my bike is about like 500 pounds with how my bike is loaded <laughs> one of the biggest differences with the the 2017 ds's and uh dsrs well, well at least the dsr is that um the controller was upgraded in 2017. So you have the big 14.4 battery with the the big controller and then the big motor. It just performs really well. So if you're riding like a 2016 or something and you don't feel like it doesn't have any go, it's because you just have an older zero. And then when you get into the SRF or SRS, um, that's a whole another ball game. Ooh, more alleys. Man, I could just do my whole commute just through alleyways, I'm realizing. I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to make my work commute just all through alleyways. This dude must be doing food deliveries or something. But yeah. Um, yeah, I changed my rear tire to a more slick tire. And yes, I'm noticing a lot of smoothness. But I mean... It's not like you can't ride a fire rope with a slick tire. And this bike is definitely not a bike that you're going to take on, like, serious off-road. At least not normally. So, because the weight, you want a lightweight. Look at all the little beautiful Ducatis. Look at some Honda CRFs there. Yep. So, yeah, this is pretty much what I do on my lunch. I just kind of, kind of ride around and... You know, stuff like that. I've been busy. I've been busy. I, I really don't have any, like, personal me time like how I used to, where it was just me just doing my own stuff. As much as I would like, but, um, you know, it's fun, though. Let's see. How much time do I have? Let's come to a stop and see how much time I have. Uh, it doesn't say. Let's ask this thing. How much time do I have left? I got 13 minutes left of my lunch. So I'm about to go down the world, Danger Street, Las Vegas. Actually, I'm going to turn right and then I'm going to hit a left on, um, um, I don't know what street that is, but I'm about to do it. Meadows. But this is what I do on my lunch. I just go and enjoy my, my riding. Actually, I'm not even going to go up Meadows. I'm just going to go straight up. It was such a pretty day. That I was just like, I might as well just go out and just ride for my lunch. You know, enjoy my beautiful DSR investment. Oh, like I was saying, I was, um, I really thought that these electric bikes are just, I know, with, you know, I, I thought they sucked, but they're actually better than, than my gas bikes, to be honest. If the only thing for like, you know, people who are used to gas bikes, the only thing that they need to do on the zero, which would be a game changer, is put that fast charging, allow it to charge in an hour. Because <laughs> if they did that, oh, it would be over. It would be a game changer. It would be a game changer. It says do not turn from 7 to 10 p.m. That means I can turn.
Yeah, I've been doing um, food delivery on my bike too. DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, you name it. I do it. <laughs> and I feel like that's a much more fun way to spend my time working because I'm doing exactly what I love doing. And the one thing that I know I'm passionate about that I don't know that I'm passionate about, but I am passionate about is riding motorcycles, if that makes sense. <laughs> The Black Apple House. That's what I'm going to call that one. But yeah. Um, it's been. Really good, 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 good time. Riding the motorcycle. It's been. No real problems at all. The more that I ride it. The more. The more that I enjoy, enjoy it. And I, 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 let's just say I had my bike. I don't even think, I haven't even had my bike for two years. October would be two years. I already have 27,765 miles on my bike. And the argument with the electric bikes is that they don't, um, there is not like gas bikes where you have to, where you could just fuel it up. And yeah, it's a little harder to ride but i'm just gonna say it like this after even with this bike i have the touring seat even after like 50 miles oh i'm ready to get off already i am not trying to sit more than 50 miles on this bike and this bike will do 50 miles on the highway easily unless i milk it if i milk it, i can probably get like 30 miles but it does it easily no problems at all so, I can't really complain about this bike. It does more than what I would do, considering that I am an everyday motorcycle rider. And, I mean, I literally ride almost every day. Like, my commutes, rain, shine, snow. I mean, I'm in California. There's no excuse. And this is what I'm riding, because it's just... It's so much more cheaper to ride this out here than owning a car. Their insurance is cheaper. The the charging is most of the time free. Or, I mean, the most I ever spend personally on electric charging is about like eight dollars a month. So, yeah, I should be lane splitting. I really don't trust it up here in West Hollywood. These fools don't know how to really drive. <laughs> like, I mean, I I, I should be lane splitting because it's probably safer up here. And being so that everybody sits on their phone looking down the whole time driving, I probably really shouldn't be stopping behind cars like I am. Because you, rear get, you will get rear-ended here. And that's a fact. And I'm on the Rainbow Road in Mario Kart. I thought you were going to turn into the first available lane. Look at this. Look at this U-turn. Like a boss. See the side of the car? Avoid it. <laughs> if you're looking at a side of a car, that means trouble is probably going to happen. That's how we see it. But yeah. If you guys like this video, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.